Hello everyone. The panel, the control panel for the production line which I've been designing. I've not had a lot of time to put on it this week, but uh, it's nearly complete. It's nearly done. I've uh, tested everything except the small inverter, a small variable frequency drive. I've not, I've not programmed it. I've programmed the, the big inverter there. This is 37 kilowatts inverter. I've programmed it to this motor. This motor is a 22 kilo, kilowatts motor. But when I move it to where the machine that is going to run, the machine is at a 7 kilowatts motor. It's a hammer mill. A hammer mill that, that's run by a 27 kilowatts motor. So what's going to happen is that uh, we're going to turn on this one first, the cyclone. Once the cyclone is on, then you can turn on the mill. Because what the cyclone does is that it extracts heat from the mill. So the specification of the client is that the, the mill cannot start unless the cyclone is on to be extracting heat. So once the cyclone is on, which is this contactor, then we can start the mill through which the mill is run by this big inverter. And when the mill reaches a full speed, when it reaches full speed, the full speed here is 2,955 RPM rev per minute, then it's going to trigger this relay. And this relay, what the, uh, this relay is going to start these three machines, these three motors here. So when the speed goes down, the three motors will stop. The, the three motors will stop. When, it, when it's at full speed, the three motors will come back on. And then I'm going to use this, um, this timer. I'm going to use this timer to control this uh, small variable frequency drive because uh, I want this, this timer that I want when the this machine has run for like one minute, then that timer will enable the feed, and then you can start the feed, but you cannot start the feed until this machine has run for about one minute or two minutes, depending on what you want. So I've done most of the controls. This control is for the is for the is for the small small variable frequency drive. And this one, uh, the the push buttons. So this push button, this is for the this this push button is for the this feed buttons are for the these push buttons are for the cyclone. This is for the reset reset of the e stop, and that's the e stop. And this this is the the pilot, the light of the, the of the e stop. These ones are lights of each of the machines that's being run. So. This is, these are temporary uh, labels that are put on it. So that is a cyclone. When the cyclone is on, then you can turn on the mill. And then the mill, when the mill reaches a full speed, it will turn on the, the sieve. The bagging screw and the hopper are one machine, but they, ro they are run by two machine, by, they are run by two motors. And the feed, the feed is the small variable frequency drive, which, which is not yet programmed. But it's there. I'm going to put a motor there and program it next. Okay, this is the start button for the cyclone and the stop button. Start button for the mill and the stop button. Start button for the feed and stop button. And this is a different machine that is going to have, it's a flexicon. It's a different machine that well, we're going to extend the start and stop button to here. So it's going to have a remote control from this panel, but, but the, the contact to the control are not in this panel. It's just going to be the remote, the start is going to be extended to this panel. So this is, it's stripped now. It's stripped now. The e-stop, I think it's stripped now. This life is the, the trip light. So, and the reset. So if we can pull out the e-stop and you push reset. Now it has reseted and uh, the panel has come live. You know, the panel is live now, and that's the 
the 37 kilowatts variable frequency drive. Actually, I put um, potential, a potentiometer, put a potentiometer here to regulate the speed. So I can, if I put it at half speed, it's never going to, it's never going to trigger the output because it, it's on 30, 30, 35.9, 34.9 hertz. So it's not a full speed. So I'll start it now. So uh, this is a cycle. You cannot start the meal. If you try to start the meal, it's not going to start. Except you start the cyclone. You can hear the click of the of the part of the of the contactor now. So that's the cyclone. That one is a cyclone. So the cyclone is on now. So uh, now we can start the on the light to indicate that the cyclone is on. So these lights are any machine that is on is going to show. So when I switch it off, light goes off. When it's on. The light is on. So the cycle is supposed to be running now. And then the mill. The mill is the biggest motor here. So it's the main machine. So uh, this is the start button for the mill. So that motor is running, which is representing the mill. But these motors cannot come on because it's not on full speed yet. When it reaches full speed, this will activate and it will activate other machines. But right now it's on 34.9. So when I switch it up to 50 now, if I switch it up to 50, it's going higher. Still not on. Still not on. So you can see it here. So this is like the RPM switch. So now if I take it up to 50, so full speed now. So it starts the rest of it starts these three motors. It starts these two motors. No, three motors. One, two, three. So when, when the speed goes down again, it, it goes off. You know? So when I put it up to when I put it up to uh, 50 hertz, it pulls in the other contactors. So when I bring it down again. So So I was able to do this. I was able to do this RPM controlled by the RP control uh, the contactors through the RPM. I was able to do this on uh, on the uh, relay output of the inverter, which I'm going to show you now in the next. Uh, I'm going to show you now in the next clip how I did it. Well, I'm just going to show you the pan the uh, uh, the diagram of the of of what I've just designed. But I'll make another video where I will where I will uh, talk about how to program these PLCs. But it's just how to program these uh, variable frequency drive. So when you push the start button on the on the second line, it will start the KM1. The KM1 is a cyclone. The light will be activated at the same time because when the contactor KM1 closes. The line number three, which is a contactor, you know, the horizontal lines, the horizontal, the vertical lines, number three, which will close the cam one contact and uh, the light will come on. And then at the same time, it's going to go on the inverter on the variable frequency drive, which is next, and the cam one will enable the, the stop button start push button of the of the variable frequency drive now you can push the start button of the variable frequency drive when the full speed the full rpm is reached this one is set at 50 hertz but you can choose to the trigger uh, relay crpm a trigger the C, relay crpm is relay crpm stands for stands for RPM, well, RPM uh, uh, control kind of, you know. So when when uh, 
when the mill reaches full speed, when the hammer mill reaches full speed, it will trigger this CRPM. The CRPM will enable enable the sieve, which is a KM2. The KM2, and it also uh, the KM2 will enable the hopper, which is a KM3. And the hopper will also, uh, and, the, and that KM2 also will enable the bargain screw. So this is what I've just designed and what I've just demonstrated. So, and, and I hope you find this interesting. Uh, and uh, I, I need to do more on it, but this is basically it. It's just remaining to um, program the last, uh, the last of the variable frequency drive, and then I'll have to start testing it on the machine. I have to take it over to the machines that, that needs to use them and start testing them, probably by next week, if I'm not too busy. Thanks for listening, and see you on the next one.